you're in the building business or in the window business, you usually uh, got involved with a sausage caulking, which is 100% silicone, really good stuff for commercial application windows uh, and uh, for big gaps. Big gaps could be up to one inch. Some guys do it even bigger, but I see like big gaps, which is uh, which is hard to do with a conventional caulking because uh, window is moving, building is moving, and you have to make sure the silicone will not crack. So what we're using is sausage caulking. Dow Corning is re is really good company. But that's what I'm using here. Uh, I just want to show a couple of tricks I'm using to do a, a nice caulking job. Uh, because if you install the window properly and but you, you do a bad caulking job then uh, it will not look good and uh, builders will complain see like that that's my caulking it's not easy to do it's not easy to do a good job but especially if the bit is a half inch to one inch uh, wide I want to show you how I'm doing this I usually have two guns with me, two caulking guns, like this. And the angle I'm using is not 45 and not zero. The angle is probably, I, I would say in the middle, uh, 22, 25 degree angle. On both of them, and I'm usually I usually have two guns with me. One is uh, um, smaller, one is larger for different size uh, application. So let me show you how I'm doing this. Before you do caulking or silicone on the window, make sure you have backing. Usually uh, caulking guys put some foam uh, uh, spaghetti inside as a backing. I use uh, window foam and cut it nicely so I have all sharp edge here it's way easier to apply uh, to, to apply uh, silicone when you uh, have uh, this uh, gap filled with something but I usually do a window foam lo low expansion window foam and cut it nicely uh, flush with the with the window the nozzles have to be clean that's the that's very important and so, so when I'm when I'm doing my caulking I'm holding my gun almost perpendicular to the window. Not exactly, but almost. Because the nozzle has to make the caulking very smooth. So, it will be... If that's your window, I don't want to have the bead like this. I want to have the bead, like th the bead like this. So it's very easy to tool it later. And tool it, we'll get to tooling a little later. So, that's how I'm doing it. I just go really in a different in a different direction like this. So I'm gonna start from another side. See how my nozzle making it smooth. when my caulking is on I have to tool it to tool it I'm using soapy water and my finger finger tooling is okay but some uh, it's called you using just a stick or metal stick I'm using my my finger and I just smooth it up not really hard very easily really gently all right so this is done you 
have to push the clocking in because if you don't do it, it doesn't feel the pour in a, in a, in a, a cement seal or in a concrete brick. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go around and that's how you do sausage cutting. So this window is done. Well, again, it's hard to do nice, nice be, uh, bit of caulking when, when you have one inch uh, or three quarter of an inch uh, uh, gap to fill. But again, uh, the the soap, I use dishwasher, like a dishwasher soap, like a dish soap, and I'm going really heavy on the concentration, probably 60% of water, 40% of dish soap. Then it's uh, easy to uh, tool the silicone and it's not uh, very sticky to your fingers yeah so a bit of caulking should look like this at the end of the at the end of the day okay. look like this around the windows the builder will, will be happy and the homeowners will be happy and it's just looking good